I guess you could say we were a little hungry. <laughs> Just a little bit. Hey, what's up guys? It's been a while for the vlog, but um, it's the weekend. It's Friday. Almost 5 o'clock. <sighs> Had a long day at work. Just got done with a home workout, which is why I might be a little sweaty, a little out of breath. But we got some fun stuff going on this weekend, so I thought I'd vlog it. Um, we're going to do happy hour at home tonight. Probably catch a movie tomorrow. I got a little bit of work to do. Hopefully I get some writing done as well. And then... Um, we might be doing some renovation stuff. We'll see if we get to that any any of that this weekend. Uh, my wife got a $900 gift card from Lowe's for her blog to uh, redo some of our kitchen. So we might be doing some of that and uh, we'll see what happens. Here's the epic cheese plate for Friday night. What do we got here? We got cheddar gruyere. Cheddar gruyere. Fig jam. Fig jam. Capricola. Capricola. Prosciutto. Prosciutto. Salami. Salami. Dried apricots. Dried apricots. Dried cranberries. Dried cranberries. Almonds. Almonds. Brie with honey. Brie with honey. Rosemary. Cranberry. Raisin crisps. Oh, raisin. Toscano with Syrah. Baguette with apricot jam and brie. And Peter. And then Stoltman 2013 Syrah. If you're ever in the greater Santa Barbara area, make a trip up to San Inez, visit Stoltman. They have really, really, really good red wine. We were a member at a few places up there, but Stoltman is uh, consistently good. So the best part about all this is that uh, Joe, my wife, got hooked on The Walking Dead finally. So I get to rewatch all of them <laughs> with her. I was like, what do you want to watch that during happy hour? She's like, if you ask me, we're just going to say The Walking Dead. So that's pretty much the score. Good morning, guys. It's about 8.30 on Saturday. I slept like a rock, as you can probably tell from my crazy bed head. <laughs> Actually, I haven't looked at myself in the mirror. I probably look really bad. Um, but had a really good night. Um, we watched a bunch of The Walking Dead, had our little little <laughs> giant cheese plate. Um, I just played some Counter-Strike and hung out and went to sleep. I was gonna go for a run this morning, but I, I like injured myself in my sleep yesterday. I got like crazy calf cramp, like so bad that my entire calf was like seized up and I thought I was, I woke up screaming. It was so bad. And then I was limping all the next day. So, um, yeah, I know more water, more bananas, more magnesium, <laughs> already way ahead of you. Um, but, <clears throat> so I'm still kind of sore from that. So I'm going to hold off on, on going for a run. I got a workout in yesterday, so should be fine. Um, but today, first I want to clean up the kitchen. We have a, a friend of a friend who's a doula, which is like a like a birth birthing guide type person. I don't know what to call them really. Um, coming over at 10 and she's gonna talk to us a bit. We're gonna see if maybe we'll want to work together for this whole baby thing we have going on. Um, and then I think we're going to start the process of um, doing those those renovations in the kitchen and uh, we're going to start with the knobs. We have um, basic knobs and we're going to replace them. There's let's see like 20 something knobs in here so there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 26 knobs. So that'll be a project today. Um, not too 
crazy, but just getting started on the whole renovation thing. That'll be about uh, 70 something bucks, I think. Let's see. Yeah, like 78 bucks, I think, without tax. Um, but we have that $900 gift card, so that'll be a start. Put a little dent in there. Uh, other things we want to do is um, probably get a, uh, like, what do you call it? A uh, marble laminate for the countertops. Um, like a hardwood, uh, or no, 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 contact paper for the countertops. It's like marbleized contact paper. And then a laminate uh, hardwood floor in here. We'll see. Um, it might be a little more complicated. Um, we want to replace or just kind of um, cover up this entire thing, this island here, with a butcher block. So like giant cutting board basically. Um, backsplash. Um, I don't remember what else. We'll see. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to get started cleaning here. And then, mm, I'll try to write a little bit again, maybe. I um, got some writing done yesterday um, on my next book, which is really exciting. Um, it's been hard to, to get back into writing. So um, that little bit that I did yesterday is good. I want to continue that chapter. Funny enough, it was a chapter about motivation and uh, energy and stuff like that and depression. So um, I was like, this is ironic because I'm not motivated to write, but I'm writing anyways, which is the whole thesis of that chapter. So, um, yeah, let me get to it. up at the mall we got some new pants for me one new pair of pants for her apparently maternity stuff's hard to find <laughs> um, and now we're gonna hit Lowe's and we're gonna get some knobs yeah Something I want to like see maybe there's like a wind like box that we can attach to the to the railing these ones right yep <laughs> Oh, I was like, how do you know which knobs are which? You want like, like brass? Yeah. These are kind of nice. I like these. You like them? I so, mean, I okay, like that other fair. One. Color that other one. This will be on the cabinets. Oh, yeah, and, and then our, we have white. So I think that looks good. So I'm just gonna get one for now. That, that's the color you want? Yeah, so I'm just gonna get one for now. Um, we only have one for now, so. Yeah, get those together? Yeah. Cool. Okay, so it's replacing time. These are the new knobs. These are the old ones. And it's super easy. They just have a uh, little screw on the back side. So you just hold the screwdriver in there or hold it with your finger and twist this off. And they fit the same screw, so I might just save the screws. Uh, but there's 26 of them, so it'll take a while. But it'll look good afterwards.
Okay, what do you guys think? Knobs, knobs, knobs. <laughs> now we need to replace this because now this doesn't match. So we gotta find a, another handle to our pantry. But that will be another project soon. The contact paper, it's too white. The marbleized card contact paper, so it doesn't look good with the walls. So we're gonna find another one or something like that. And while I was doing all this, she was doing all this. So we got thyme, uh, rosemary, spearmint, and sage. And a mess. <laughs> So I'm sitting here doing some uh, editing and some other various work and drinking a mint and julep that I made earlier today. Uh, but I had a thought. A lot of you guys ask um, how I get products to give me, or companies to give me products to use in my videos and stuff like that. Um, it's a little bit different story now because my channel is a bit bigger and um, a lot of times it's companies that contact me and I just tell them yes or no or kind of work with them. Um, but in the beginning when I had more like 10,000 subscribers it was me reaching out to them and making a case for um, why they should give me products and stuff like that. Like I said it's a bit different now. Now I do, it, it depends on the quality of the product. Um, there's a few things that I reach out directly to and want to get like this camera here. I wanted an action camera so I reached out to people and got one. Um, other things if they really want me to show off their product, then they need to pay me for it. Um, it just really depends on the product and what they think that their kind of preferences are and stuff like that and, and how applicable it is to you guys. So my current project right now is I want to get some soundproofing for the recording booth over there. And so I'm reaching out to the first company right now about how to do that. And um, I kind of have, a, a when I'm reaching out to companies trying to get something, I have a little rule of thumb where I send out one, and if I get one rejection, then I send out five more emails, and then every time I get one back, I'll send out five more emails to different places and stuff like that, and eventually it just works. So that's kind of what you got to do to start off with. Um, you know what I'm what I'm writing in this email here that I'm working on it says, uh, "My name is Robert. I run a YouTube channel called Death the Psych. I have about seventy thousand subscribers. I make a variety of videos from vlogs to ASMR style videos." Uh, the ASMR videos are why I'm contacting you today. If you're not familiar with them, they're basically relaxation videos that focus on quiet, interesting sounds and use 3D or binaural audio to create this effect. I recently moved and I have a walk-in closet that I'm using as a recording booth. I have some really poor soundproofing in there at the moment and would like to find some interesting and creative soundproofing solutions to um, improve that. This is where you come in. I saw that you guys make really awesome solutions such as custom soundproofing prints and I was hoping that we might be able to work together to show both show off your product in an unboxing and review video as well as help increase the quality of my future videos by better insulating my booth. If this is something that might be interesting to you, let me know. I will include a few links below as well as some analytics attached. So I included a uh, two links. One was a recent video that I recorded in there in the booth so they can see what it's like and then a product roundup that I did last time. And then I'm attaching analytics of excuse me, how many views, you know, how long people watch, things like that, just from uh, YouTube. So that's kind of the name of the game. You know, you make a case for why it might be useful, um, and you have different uh, bargaining abilities depending on your subscriber count is really what it comes down to, and, and how long people watch your videos is something else too. If you have a track record of selling things for people, then that's a good, a good thing. You know, um, if you say that with XYZ Company, we were able to sell a lot of products for them, then that helps. Um, but really, persistence is, is what you need, um, and not hoping to get the top of everything. You know, the, I'm not going to expect that I can get a GoPro because GoPro gives you know cameras to like pro snowboarders and people like that, not necessarily people who have 70,000 subscribers on YouTube. But certainly, uh, Get Get Up, the company that I got this camera from, might have a uh, you know a little bit of a lower standard in that regard. So it worked out. So yeah, that's what I want to say about that. 
Hey guys, so it's uh, Sunday now. It's about two o'clock. It's been a pretty good weekend. Um, been a good day today. I uh, went out with Duff the wife and we went, uh, did some Target shopping. We did some baby registry stuff over at Target. Got the little uh, iPhone and scanned everything. And then um, got some lunch and that's about it. I just stopped by home real quick, made some, made some iced coffee for the road. I am going to be um, going and doing some scoring now. I got some scoring to do uh, on assessments that I had done last week. It's pretty creepy in here without anybody in the building. Okay, so welcome to the uh, office. This is where I do my work. Um, it's a small place, just two of us share this space, so it's the waiting room. This is a copier and such. And we have two offices here. They're basically mirrors of each other. And uh, supply closet. This is where I um, do part of my work. Sometimes the testing that I do is in here, which is nice. Sometimes it's out in the community at people's houses, which is um, a little bit more difficult. This is pretty luxurious. We got these big tables here, so we get everyone to spread out. Usually, a patient sits here. We sit here and work like this. And on days like today, I have that big stack of stuff to score because after you do the three-hour, four-hour assessment, then you have to score all of that. You use books like this to find people's scores cross-referenced with their age, education, and stuff like that, and then uh, put it into the reports. But yeah, um, there's the couch for doing therapy. So we do both therapy and neuropsychological testing in here. And uh, it's, a, it's a pretty nice space. I'm really happy with it. Um, it's looking really nice. This isn't my office per se. This is my uh, supervisor's office, but um, I'm working here for now and I'll probably work here for the foreseeable future. So um, we may change spaces after a year or so, but definitely all the furniture and stuff will come with us. So today I have about four hours of scoring to do. It's Sunday, but it, I don't mind coming in on the weekends. I like it when there's no one else in the building and I could just focus send some podcasts and knock the work out. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with that right now. And then after that, I'll just be going home and finishing up the weekend, and that's about it. So uh, I'll get to it. Yeah,